Hey guys, this is Jason out here in Colorado. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make some cordage using the narrow leaf yucca, which is right here behind me. Um, now the narrow leaf yucca is pretty rigid. The leaves are, I've gone ahead and harvested some already. Here's, here's a leaf, as you can see, it's got a point on one end and it's, it's pretty woody and fibrous. They're pretty solid. Um, now you can use these as a crude needle and thread, I've already processed this one a little bit. You, you can see the you can see the point on the end of it, and you just work this real thin, and then you can use that as a needle and thread if you need to. Also, uh, for the ones that you haven't processed, you can chew the ends of these, and you can make them into a paintbrush. Also, the narrow leaf yucca during the, the spring, as you can see these woody stalks right here. Those grow flowers, buds that you can you can eat um, later in the year. Obviously, they get some bugs on them, so you have to rinse them off or just eat the bugs. A lot, unlike some species of the yucca, the roots on these ones are not edible. You can crush them up and use them for soap. I'll clean your hands off with. Now, the the base of these down here on the bottom, you can roast the just the base of it. And eat the base. Also at the very bottom, I don't know if you can see, but there's a lot of the dead leaves. You can use that for for fire tinder. Mm. Anyways, to make cordage, we're gonna start with one of the ones I have not processed yet. And like I said, these are pretty rigid, so you're gonna have to break these down. Now the best way to do it, use the back edge of your knife. Well, ultimately what you should do is boil these. You can boil these and, and it'll soften these up quite a bit but we don't always have luxury of boiling these so what we're going to do is break these down i got me a chunk of wood here all i'm going to do is press the back edge of my knife along here against that wood and then draw it back to crush these fibers a little bit and set it on the ground here give me myself a little bit more support but we're just going to pull it back so i'll set it up here for now so you can see me but just basically work it like this and just crush up those fibers until it's not nearly as rigid. If you're going to be using this for cordage, you cut the tip off so you don't stab yourself. And just work that down. It's not as rigid anymore and we'll go ahead and pull these apart. A little bit so we just have these individual strands now if that that one's still pretty thick so I'm gonna work a little bit more the, the yucca grows all over Colorado so it's a pretty good plant to use for your cordage you find it just about anywhere I've already had a bundle that I worked so to start we're just gonna grab one of these strands and we're just going to twist this somewhere in the center until it rolls back on itself. So we've got a loop on the end. What we're going to do is we're going to grab this top piece and twist it away from you twice and then pull the back piece up, or the bottom piece back towards you and then pinch up further on here, grab the top. Do it away from you twice now because it is a little these are pretty rigid it'll, it, they'll spring back a little bit so just keep rolling them until it's tight so usually just one two rolls away from you grab the bottom this finger and pull it back up towards you so the top piece twist it away from you grab the bottom piece pull it back up towards you and the bottom becomes a top you just keep Twisting it like that until you get down a little ways. And I'll show you what to do here in a minute when you're about run out. I'm just gonna work this for a little bit. Now you make this rope as thin or as thick as you want. If you want it thicker, just add more of these fibers to it. You can see we're starting to make a little bit of cordage here. Now this cordage can be used for traps and snares. It can be used for 
building shelter, binding logs and whatnot. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and splice another piece in there. So you can see I've got the two ends. I'll grab another one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and put half on the top and half on the bottom and just continue on. Now if you have one side that's longer and one side shorter, say this side is really long and this side is really short, what we would do is you would just take it and bend it so we have a you know, longer piece to splice that in there. We're just gonna keep twisting. Normally what I do is I'll cut these leaves as I'm walking and I'll make this rope as I'm traveling down a trail. Or you can cut them when you get to your camp at night. You can sit around the campfire and make your cord. Now I'm getting a little thicker here, but that's all right. Just trying to go fast here. You can see it starts out small and gets thicker. You can take your time and be more consistent on the width. You see how I got a shorter piece here and a longer piece here. So what I'll do is I'll put the longer piece on the bottom and a short piece on the top. Okay, so we got it going. I'll just show you one last time here. Two, one, two away from you. Reach down the bottom, grab the lower piece, and pull it back up towards you. Two away from you with the top piece, grab the bottom, pull it back up towards you. Top piece, one, two away from you, grab the bottom, pull it back up towards you. One, two away from you, back up to the top. Obviously this takes a little bit of time, but the more you do it, the better you'll get at it. Just this little piece, pretty strong. You can see I'm pulling on it as hard as I can and it's not budging. So that's it. That's how you make cordage with the narrow leaf yucca. Thanks for watching.